Hi, my name is Joy Barrios, and this is my book, Tagalog for Beginners, published by Tuttle Publishing. So, why should you buy this book? Perhaps you're a classroom learner, learner perhaps you're an individual learner. Well, this book is for you. It has 32 lessons. You may ask, why so many lessons? Well, I wanted you to have short, brief lessons so you can easily master the words, phrases, and sentences and dialogues that you need to learn for this book. The 32 lessons are divided into four sections. Section one is about the self, ako, my family, and my things. With section two, we go into the community, your village, your town, your city. With section three, it's all about verbs. How to talk about, you may know us, the past, present, and future tense, or what we refer to in Filipino as the incompleted, the completed, and the contemplated aspects. And then in section four, it's babiyahe biyahe, or going around. There's also a bonus in section four. We learn how to transition from being a beginning student towards an intermediate student with additional lessons on how to effectively use the language through describing people, places and feelings, also how to narrate a story or to tell a story, how to explain things, and how to give reasons or how to argue with someone. So, you may ask, what can we find in each lesson of the book? So we start off with a very brief dialogue. So, why are the dialogues brief? Because if the dialogues are long, then you won't be able to remember them. So I've kept the dialogues brief. So what if you encounter words that are difficult to say? For example, Ikinagagala kong makilala ka. Pleased to meet you. Do not be afraid. If you find that some sentences are difficult, there are options. Meaning, you will be able to say one, say one thing, your thought in English, using a different kind of sentence. So, what other sections can we find in, in the lessons? So, we have the dialogue. So, we start with the vocabulary words we transition to sentences so we learn about how to construct a sentence and then we move to question and answer so remember it's really important to be able to master how to ask questions and how to give answers so do all the activities related to question and answer in the book after this will prepare you so that you will be able to do the exercises wherein you refer back to the dialogue and you have pretend situations. So finally, you have also in the book two things, grammar notes and culture notes. And that way you learn more about the language and also Filipino culture. Each section ends with two things. One, a reading text. I've made level appropriate reading text reading text so that you are able to check how much you already know you're able to feel uh, a sense of fulfillment at being finally able to read in Filipino and finally I have also given you um, writing exercises so that you will be able to practice your language on your own I hope you enjoy this book should you wish to contact me, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. Feel free to write to my publisher. I will always be here to help you learn how to be an effective speaker of Tagalog or Filipino. Please get my book, Tagalog for Beginners.